What's going on guys, my name is Jack, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about Adobe After Effects versus Adobe Premiere Pro. Which one's better and um, basically just pretty much stacking up these two next to each other and actually kind of getting rid of a um, pretty common misconception that After Effects and Premiere are kind of on the same level. Actually they're two entirely different entities, they both focus on a very different aspect of video editing, both extremely different aspects of video editing, and I'm pretty much just going to be breaking them down. Premiere Pro, for example, is what you would kind of refer to as a standard video editor, right? This is a video editing tool. After Effects, on the other hand, and this is where people can go wrong, and personally, I, I, I went wrong in the past with this, right? Is video, um, is After Effects, rather, is a video composition tool, not really a video editor. Of course, you can still video edit in there, but it's very impractical to be video editing in there. And I'll kind of go into that in a second, but overall, Premiere Pro is specialized to be a video editing tool, right? So, for example, one of the major, major things that helps um, Premiere Pro be such a smooth and efficient video editing tool is same track video editing. For example, if you're used to After Effects, you know that in After Effects, if you want to compile loads of different clips together, right, this not being a video editor, you are going to basically be building a big stairway to heaven on After Effects, right? You can't put everything in the same smooth, simple, clean track. You can't do same track video editing, okay? Mainly because After Effects is built to combine loads and loads of different layers of, of, of overlays and special effects to create a final composition which you would then render which would be one particular clip. Premiere Pro is made more to compile longer pieces rather than just focus on individual shots and the effects of individual shots so you can actually combine loads of different clips all onto the same exact track and create a nice long video, right? Boom, because it is more um, customized and more specialized rather to be a video editor. Whereas, like I said, yes, After Effects is specialized to be a video composition tool where you would uh, put loads and loads of different layers together. Now, moving up into something majorly in the points and favor of After Effects, the video composition tool. If we're talking about the really high effects stuff, right, it would just be really dumb to be using Premiere now. Just like if you were talking about the really basic video editing stuff, it would be really dumb to be using After Effects, like we've just talked about, okay? So, in terms of the FX style stuff, yes, After Effects is 100% taking the cake, and they're majorly winning in this field. Premiere Pro is um, very heavy on the processing power, very heavy, uh, of, you know, I mean, on these components of the computer, so when you start mixing that with the super FX heavy stuff, you're gonna run into some serious lag or some serious slow, slow programs, stuff like that, maybe even some crashes depending on the strength of your computer. It really just goes crazy, really, when you start doing all the FX heavy stuff over there in Premiere. However, these two programs obviously work hand in hand, and boom, once you've compiled your entire video, say you're making a five, 10 minute video, once you've compiled all those clips there in Premiere, that would be where you would take that and go into After Effects to actually start enhancing each individual clip. For example, um, in After Effects, it would be very common to have a composition um, open for every different shot of, let's say, your short film, or let's say, your music video. Basically, each composition is working specifically on that one clip. So, After Effects is 100% taking the cake for all the FX heavy stuff. After Effects is the number one program out there for all your FX heavy stuff, unless you're getting into some crazy next level Steven Spielberg type video editing programs, which to be honest, he probably still uses um, <laughs> After Effects. After Effects is equipped with a huge list of the various different effects. Also, the, uh, the, the, there's amazing tools in After Effects, for example, like the Roto Brush tool where you can literally select a moving person or a moving object or, or anything really and actually highlight that um, um, and, and actually take that and make it a separate entity from the background and then of course put loads of stuff there. Basically After Effects takes the massive cake, the biggest cake in the world for the FX heavy stuff. 100% it's not even a competition. And um, uh, because of this, right, 
These two programs can work amazing together. You can literally just um, know this going forward into your edits and compile your entire basic composition, right? All your clip by clips um, in a single track in Premiere Pro. Then simply take that over to After Effects and start going in depth into each individual clip. Finally, on the list of the major key differences between After Effects and Premiere Pro is the amazing color correction support that Premiere Pro offers um, that really After Effects has none of the sort, right? Premiere Pro have a, ha has a specialized tab that is literally the color. Not only does it have um, just amazing in-depth color grading and color correction, but also it has um, a variety of different tools that actually help you um, gauge whether you're crushing um, certain colors in your image and uh, overall just, just in-depth analyze your image so that you actually get the crispest color correction and the crispest color grading um, overall in your project. Whereas if we go back over to After Effects, a program that's a, uh, a, a video composition tool opposed to a video editing tool, um, it really doesn't offer any anything similar by a, by a long, long stretch in terms of color correction that Premiere Pro actually does. In fact, the most advanced color correction style stuff in After Effects you're really gonna be experiencing and be able to get your hands on is making like a uh, adjustment layer and then putting a variety of different color correction on top of that adjustment layer. Overall, massive, 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 um, massively better over on Premiere Pro to actually go over there for your color correction needs, all that sort of stuff. But overall, if we really were to break it down right now to do just an overall summary for the end of the video, I'll tell you guys that using After Effects for video editing and your basic video editing needs is just dumb. Whereas, as well, using Premiere Pro for any of your VFX heavy needs is also just dumb. Both programs are absolutely amazing. Both programs have very different um, key focuses, which if you know about these focuses, which if you made it to this point in the video now you do, you can actually go about making much nicer projects by literally just knowing which programs to go into and how to actually utilize and get the best out of both of these very different but also similar programs. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. Personally, uh, a year ago, two years ago, I really didn't even know all this stuff about After Effects being so vastly different to Premiere. I was using After Effects, um, actually, to be honest, even earlier in 2017, I was using After Effects to actually create in-depth edits, and then my homie put me straight and told me I was basically stupid. And um, now that I figured that out, I can't even believe at any point I thought that, you know what I mean, After Effects was an appropriate tool to use for, 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 for compiling massive edits. Anyways, I'm glad we're all on the same page. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, two minutes ago, I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. Have a nice day. Subscribe, like, comment. <laughs> Bye.